Hello and welcome, my big winners. How are you doing today? It's Chris here, and today we're going to talk about the praying mantids. Of course, the usual is happening. They're getting even bigger. I know, it's kind of crazy, but they molt about once a week, so they're, they're pretty darn big at this point. You guys are going to see a big change in this, kind of like exponential growth. Overall, nothing too crazy has changed, of course. They're just a little bit bigger and everything. The only thing is, is I think tomorrow I'm going to go to the pet store and buy some small crickets and see if they're going to start eating crickets instead of just these fruit flies. Also, you might be noticing behind me on the wall over there, there's a crap ton of fruit flies that escaped. Yeah, I'm kind of a said about that. So uh, maybe I'll make a video about how to keep the fruit flies kind of in check if they do end up escaping. I don't really care all that much because I'm the only one here at the moment and I'll probably fix it a little bit later. But um, there is an easy way to, uh, you know, keep the fruit flies kind of at bay and to keep them from escaping all over the house. Anyways, let's show you guys these praying mantis. I also got one of these guys uh, separated over here that I'm going to show you on my hand because I feel like it's a very good way to uh, check out the scale of these guys. So of course the aquarium is getting even more dirty. You know, they poop all over the uh, the glass and everything. There's just not a very easy way to clean it. So I'm thinking about doing like a full-on clean of the tank fairly soon. Just wiping it all out, all the cocoa fiber, everything, and just put it gone, man. So here we go. We got... Uh Everybody's sitting on the top up there. I just had the light on, so they like the heat. This is the first day where it's not like 80 degrees in here, so, so they kind of like it. So you guys can tell um, it's not very clear, and you can't really see them very easily. So I want to show you guys the one up close and personal over here. So yeah, again, nothing too big and crazy about the tank. But here you go. We've got this guy over here. He's going to be big. He's probably going to be kind of fast. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful when we uh, you know, um, let him out. I don't want him to jump around too much. So there he is. There's this little buddy. See if we zoom in, he's pretty darn cool. This is the reddest one, by the way. I don't know why he's red. I have I have a feeling that it has something to do with the cocoa fiber on the ground over there. Maybe he's just like a, a ground mantid. And he's kind of adapting to the color of the uh, the ground. But yeah, he's, he's a lot redder than the other ones. You know, most of the other ones are a little bit more on the green side. But the camera does make him seem even redder than he actually is. So um, don't think he's like a pure on red mantid or anything like that. He is more of a brownish red. And uh, the camera just like likes to make everything really nice and vibrant. So anyways, let's let him out over here. Let's let him out. Come on, little buddy. He is kind of afraid of me, of course. I guess that's kind of a good thing? I don't know. But here's my finger. You know, I mean, obviously, it's, uh, he's probably the size of, like, two of my finger segments put together, approximately. Come on, little buddy. He's reaching for, <laughs> reaching for the air. Oh, there he goes, man. Oh, don't roll over on it, though. All right. He's climbing up this guy and everything. He's actually got some really cool patterns on him. I like the patterns on his arms. He's got like two little black marks right there. You can see his face is really green and everything. If you look at him from behind, he's a lot more of a a, a variety of colors. He's not just red. You know, he's the red, the brown, the black, all the different colors over there. And it's really cool how you see when their, their arms are moving and everything, they kind of like bend a little bit. You wouldn't think that they would bend all that much. But he's really just looking around all over the place for a place to, you know, I guess hide. So let's, let's pop him on my hand really quick. I think he wants to go on my hand really here. So come on up. Come on up. There we go. All right. So he's officially on my hand. Oh, he just fell off. <laughs> I guess he's a little bit of a derp derp. A little bit of a derp derp over here. There we go. Now we finally got him on our hand over here. Let's bring him to the window. Let's see if he likes the window. I don't know. The window usually makes the colors even weirder. I don't know, man. I guess he just wants to go home. He's just like, what am I going to do? I want to climb higher and higher and higher. But you can tell the extreme size of this guy at this point. I think he's going to get, um, you know, about... I don't know, probably three or four times the size of this right now. I know that's kind of ridiculous, right? Like four times the length and of course way heavier. Now he's actually looking at the camera being all cool and everything. Man, look at this guy, he's fancy. So I don't want to torture him too much. Of course at this point I feel like I'm not going to hurt them all that much, but they do like to jump and everything and I don't want them to jump off and, you know, um, hurt themselves too much. Because like I said, the one has like a bum leg. His leg is kind of like bent the wrong way. You know, one of his legs is bent the wrong way. So maybe that'll fix in the next bolt. I'm not really sure. But uh, hopefully he'll just survive to that point. Again, I'm planning on starting to feel, feed them like uh, some small crickets or something like that. And uh, um, I promise to show you guys a video of that uh, fairly soon. But I believe that's what I'm going to have you guys. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to press the like for me, I do appreciate those. You know, he's still looking for a place to go. <laughs> doing kind of a little bit of dance. He's staring right at the camera. Or at least he's staring right at me, maybe. I don't know, maybe he's hearing all the voices and he's like, what the heck is going on over here? We're going to do one more zoom in, see if we can get a really good zoom in view of his eyes. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see his mouth moving a little bit. Maybe he's hungry. Ooh, um, nom, 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 nom. At this zoom, it's very hard to keep everything straight. 
Alright, anyways, I'll promise to get another video of Oh, there we go, he's eating his hand. Alright, he's cleaning himself a little bit. Gotta focus. I'm trying to get a closest view of me, of him just still focusing. Oh man, look at those mouth parts. That's really cool. Anyways, yeah, if you guys liked the video, make sure you press the like button. I do appreciate those. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, oh my god, what are you doing? And have a super duper delicious day. Goodbye, little pragmatid. Give him a wave. Bye. Oh no, he's not that smart. <laughs> Alright, see ya.